Okay, chat, here's how it's gonna work. In order to make this go a little bit quicker, I am going to be using a random number generator. So what we did last time was I took five randomly selected helms and then you guys voted on them. The number one vote moved on to the next round and we're gonna do that for three sets of helms and so on and so forth for all of the items. We are currently picking our third helm. So the first helm that you guys selected was this, the Mid Midnight Exigent versus this. Okay, and now we have to pick one more. And then you guys will vote this helm, this helm, or whichever one that we pick. Generating numbers, we have, ooh, all right. 80, 81, 82, oh boy. The future facing helm, I don't think that's gonna get a whole lot of votes. Down here, the insight unyielding. And then the last one, I think it's the celestial helm, right? You have two minutes to vote, chat. All right, Celestial Helm running away with it right now. It's between Celestial and Christocrine. I thought you guys were going to go ugly for sure, but you guys are really out here trying to give me a good-looking armor set. Celestial's the winner. Here is what we'll be doing now. You have Celestial, Interlaced, Midnight. You have two minutes. This will be the final helm. This is what we will be sticking with. Uh, Midnight is currently running away with it. It has 70% of the vote. It's not even remotely close. Midnight, unlocked. Now, for the gloves, uh, for the gauntlets, we, we need to keep them like this. Now, we could do a vote for ornament or no ornament, or we can wait until you guys pick the shader and then pick ornament or no ornament. We're gonna wait? Okay, we're gonna wait. The Lost Pacific Plate. Prefectus, Plate of Transcendence. <laughs> RPC Valiant. Uh, 69 is the Cinder Pinion. This has 57% of the vote. In fact, I think we can probably call it here. We got 29. We got 9. We got 10. 38. 32. This is what you are voting on. Vote now. Braytech. This has 50% of the vote. So it is looking like Sunbreak. We're going to just call it right now. A, di a different RPC Valiant. It's the Reverie Dawn. It's the Mimetic. 12. Empyrean Cartographer. Solstice. Wow, it is close. Reverie Dawn, 45%. Empyrean, 44%. There is a four vote difference. It's a tie. 196 to 196, both in the finals. All right, both in the finals, here we go. Okay, here we go. Empyrean, number 12. Reverie Dawn, number 30. Number nine, Sunbreak Plate. RPC Valiant, you have two minutes to vote. 44% for RPC Valiant. All right, RPC Valiant's taking it. 46% of the vote, I'm calling it. Even if we combined Empyrean and Reverie Dawn, still wouldn't have even come close. Majestic Solstice Greaves. Lustrous Chromite. Sorry, Lustrous. Dragonfly. <laughs> what is this RNG is very interesting. Uh, it's gonna be Seventh Seraph. Chat, we're counting the default. This one counts, this is, this is one. Greaves of Roll, a.k.a. Leviathan. Currently in the lead, Greaves of Roll, 59%. Uh, I think this one's pretty safe to call right now. Greaves of the Exile, the shelter in place. So we hold fast. Gambit, which is Legatus Greaves. All right, things are a little close to start out. Hold fast, starting to pull away though. Shelter in place is in last place. The shelter in last place. <laughs> Woo! Hold fast is the winner. 43% of the vote, 148 votes. Greaves of the Exile, close, 115 total votes. Greaves of Ascendancy. Sunbreak Greaves. Oh boy. Turris Shade Greaves. Crushing Greaves. 
Insight Yielding Greaves. So currently, Turris Shade overwhelmingly in the lead. 53% of the vote, more than all of the others combined. Uh, we're going to call this one. So here we go. Here's what you're voting on. Turris, Greaves of Roll, hold fast. Greaves of Roll, starting to take the lead now. Uh, I think Greaves of Roll are going to hold it. Greaves of Roll are your winners by only 14 votes. Greaves of Roll have been selected. Simichi? Simichi? I don't know how to say it. Lustrous Chromite. Solstice. Magnificent. Mark of the Great Hunt. Be thy champion. Do not see that one getting many votes. Here we go. Solstice Magnificent. This one out in front early with 54% of the vote. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna call this one. Phenotype. Tangled web mark. Wouldn't wouldn't be voting without Gambit. Gambit Prime. 103. Light of the Great Prism. Scatterhorn mark. Wow, 93% of the votes for Great Prism. Yeah, uh, I think we're, we're I think we're going to call this one here. Overwhelmingly the most voted thing. Temptations mark. Tourist shade. One. It happened. The default. What am I wearing right now? This is a deep stone crypt. Midnight exigent. The Valkyrian. So far, the default is winning. The raid mark from Deep Stone Crypt. 52% of the vote. In fact, I think I'm just going to call it for default right now. You know what I should have done? I should have been keeping track of all the least selected things secretly and been like, we're doing that instead. Damn, that would have been a good idea. For the finals, default. Solstice. Then 103. Here we go. Your time starts now. Wow, VOG out to a commanding lead. 76% of the vote. Looks like VOG is, is gonna take it here. You have unlocked Light of the Great Prism. This is, uh, this is what you have created thus far. Arms, round one. Here we go. Same rules as before. Frost Strike Gauntlets. I could have been a full Lustrous Chromite. 70 okay six we got seven six and now 76 all right terra concord future facing not the strongest selection here not gonna lie but that's what's up what do we got to start here we got gauntlets of roll trying to match the boots 53 now 51 percent all right roll has it i'm gonna cut the vote early here iron Simaki, Iron Truage. That would be Ancient Apocalypse. Prefectus. Wildwood Gauntlets. All right, how we looking here? Iron Truage with 56% of the vote. And uh, this is one we might have to call early here. Dragonfly. Karak Type 2. Bulletsmith. Arms of Optimacy. Hold fast. I think we gotta get a better uh, random number generator next time. A lot of the same ones, but we've been using it this so far, so. Wow, Bulletsmith. Bulletsmith out in front with 61%. I thought you guys for sure were gonna go Arms of Optimacy. Uh, I feel like that's, that's an easy one to call right there. Arms finals. Here's the Bulletsmith. Iron Truage and roll all right roll out in front first couple of votes bulletsmith swinging hard though bulletsmith 58 percent of the vote with roll 25 percent iron truage 21 but bulletsmith has been unlocked this is what my titan will look like for the next three months Technically this, but the arms were just for fun. But we'll do shaders with both. So technically we look like this. 
Shaders chat. <clears throat> How do we want to handle shaders? So we can do all the same color. We literally just grab a bunch of shaders and the whole thing is shaded the same color. You, we can go down each armor piece and pick out shaders for each one. Or we can just say like, do you want to pick red? Do you want to pick blue? Do you want to play, pick green? And we pick like that. All the same color out by four, out in front by four votes. Now six. Oh, now nine. That's gonna be tough. All the same color has been selected. Here we go. How many shaders do we have? Oh my God. 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240, 270. What was that, 284? Celestia, we got 40 butter bark. We got thrown a soot. We got war brick. Vanguard Magnus. Who's out in front? Butter bark. Out in front, 45% of the vote. All right. Uh, I think Butterbark is going to take it here. 33, Iron Vendetta. Molten Bronze. Gambit Chrome. Hake History Polish. Molten Bronze. Out in front, 43% of the vote. Gambit Chrome, 36%. It's getting a little bit tighter now. Ooh. Molten Bronze, going to take it. Omelon Meteor Gloss. <clears throat> Dawning Festiveness. Dreaming Spectrum, Genotype, Null, Zero, Lichen, Crown. I think we're done. I'm going to lock it in right now. Locked in. Dawning Festiveness, number one, 45%. Crucible Triumph, 182. Rivalry Stoic. Uh, Abyssinian Gold. Testudo. Technofusion. The vote is up, and right now, Crucible Triumph has a dominant 62% of the vote. In fact, I'm just going to call it right now. Crucible Triumph, winner, 58% of the vote. You got Gambit Leather here. We got Burnished Orchid right here. I actually really like Burnished Orchid. I'm going to try to make that on a different set of mine. Gambit Steel, Vanguard Flash Fire, Copper Tone Patina. Gambit Steel, 53% of the vote. Burnished Orchid with 27. Everyone else, who cares? Gambit Steel, yeah, I, I don't see this changing. So, if we were to pick individual colors with all of the losers, so this is like worst looking. This is all the last place selections done by individual armor piece from top to bottom. I will say, yeah, it absolutely could be worse. Like if the chest piece was something dark, this would actually look kind of good. So here's what we would look like individual shaders from the top selections. And I gotta say, that's way worse. <laughs> we have to pick one shader to shade our entire body as was voted upon. Butterbark. Gambit Steel. Uh, Molten Bronze. Crucible Triumph. And Dawning Festiveness. Crucible Triumph, way out in front. Getting knocked down a couple of pegs, though. Crucible Triumph has been triumphant. That is your winner, folks. This is what I look like. Oh, we also need to do, real quick, Ursa Ornament. On, off. Well, on has 93% of the vote. This is what I look like for the next three months in GM Nightfalls. On my Titan. This is what you have selected out of all of our randomized uh, selections. That's probably, it was the easiest way I could do it. We're not going to vote on every single armor piece. It'd be way too much. So I thought, I thought the vote structure was as fair as we could have gotten. You know, completely random. All of you guys voting. Any regrets? No, I mean, it's all for charity. Am I happy with the outcome? You know, it, it, it could certainly be a lot worse. Right, we could have individual individual shaders. This orange shader actually covers up most of the chest armor as opposed to some others that just leave it all gray and blah. So it could have been it could have been a lot worse.